All right, I have about 12 minutes left on the Andras duel, so I just want to spend my stamina on that. And I also have a new team for Andras. Um, the manual team I got was with uh, 17 turns. It's slightly different. I'll show you that team as well. But um, the current team that I have is 28 turns average, um, and it's using Haley. My Haley is also R1. I got lucky from uh, gold, rec gold record pool and I pulled one copy of her. I am using relief set on Tever and Brawler set. Liam is on Ocean set and Aegis and my Haley. She has 100 uh, over 50% crit rate and there's a reason to it. Um, it's better if you don't have your Haley maxed out and I'll show you why in a bit. Ashley. Uh, enough damage so that you can one shot the uh, first wave and then your Abigail is on harmony set and light set so let's do a few blitz um, if I get like the best luck then it can go down to 24 turns I think the fastest with this team is 24 turns and then it averages out at long, around 30 turns and something like that yeah uh, but it does require a bit of RNG for it to be like below 30 turns. I need like um, some ocean wa uh, ocean waves to proc on Liam. I need to uh, okay <laughs> okay okay three losses in a row. It doesn't really happen all that much uh, the losses, but this time around it, it decided to lose like what four times in a row. That's nice. Uh, let's just do one more blitz. And then I'll show you the 25 or 24 turns run. <laughs> yeah. Not too lucky this time around. But as you can tell from the uh, run that I showed you just now, it can go down to like 28 turns average. And fastest is 24 turns. So yeah, this one is 34 turns average. Okay, nice. Tons of freebie stuff. I'll show you one more run. So again, first wave will always be the same Tabor will kill one of them and then Ashley will kill the rest and then in this wave your Healy will use the S2 do a little bit of damage but it doesn't really matter and then your uh, Ashley will then use her S2 depending on who she attack breaks uh, that unit will no longer have the highest attack in the team and Tabor will not go for that unit because Tabor's AI he will always go for the unit with the highest attack with the red marking right this one the guy on the front has the highest attack so he will use his s3 onto that guy and my tavern has a lot of accuracy so if you don't land the um, ap absorption on tavern's s3 the run will be slightly different for you because uh, then Haley will use her s1 and potentially kill this guy but if you do land the uh, ap absorb on your tavern then Tabor can AP absorb and get another turn instantly and kill the main guy. So again, if you have your Haley maxed out, then she will have her S3 max uh, ready for the third wave, which is not good because then you don't have a chance to defense break. Um, but again, the boss has there we go. The boss has a very high chance of defense break resist, so you most of the time you still won't land it. Um, and then from this point on, it's going to be the same. Abigail will target her S3 onto Tever. You gotta make sure that Tever makes uh, gets his turn first before Liam, because you want the boss to have all of the markings, the Neko Sense marking. If you don't have the Neko Sense marking, Tever's assist will do no damage at all because he, he, the boss won't have the highest attack marking, the highest defense marking, so Tever will not do any damage from that point on. Um. And the reason why I have Calamity set on Tever is because I want Tever to have uh, both the Relief set and the Calamity set. And I have Brawler set on him and also Counter set on, uh, what's it called? The the girl, Haley. Okay, this one we lost <laughs> because I got like sniped by the boss, but yeah, it doesn't really matter. Um, and this is why you want your Haley with the uh, over 50% crit rate. Because the boss will do more damage, or rather he will remove all your buffs if that unit has more than 50% crit rate. So if your Haley has more than 50% crit rate, 
the boss will remove all of the shield buff, all of the defense buff on Haley to make sure that Haley dies so she doesn't get a turn outside of the first turn that she takes to land the defense break. You don't really want your allies to take too many turns outside of Liam and Tever. So you want Ashley and uh, Haley to die as soon as they can, uh, as soon as possible. Um, Haley, once she does her S1 on the boss, that's her job done. And um, Ashley, as soon as she applies the uh, shield buff on your Tever to help him survive better, then her job is done. Um, so yeah, that's why you want th these two to die as quickly as possible. And yeah, that's it for the run. If you want to copy the speed, that's my speed. As you can see, my uh, Tever has a ton of accuracy so that he can land the Seer. It's very important to, for you to land the Seer to get a faster run. And also for the AP absorption on the second wave. So you can cut down on turns even more. Um, he's on attack, attack, and attack. Uh, get his crit rate as low as possible and then Liam is on HP 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 His speed this is the right speed that I can uh, get For him to take the turn before the ads the second round of the ads taking a turn. This is what I uh, I uh, Got 191 so he can take the turns before those and Yeah, if you can get his crit rate below 50% uh, that would be the best scenario I got unfortunate and I got unlucky so I maxed out his second skill so now he has like over 60 uh, over 50% crit rate um, and then Haley is on crit rate accuracy you want her to be 100% uh, accuracy and avatara speed uh, calamity and avatara so he she can give the sets to Tever and then lastly Ashley your Ashley needs to be lower attack than your Tever uh, so if you end up having Ashley's Divinate, you kind of want to lower her accuracy, uh, attack a little bit so that she has lower attack than your Tever. She's on wind set, attack, attack, and attack with 100% crit rate so she can kill the first wave consistently. And then lastly, Abigail is on the harmony set, HP, HP, and speed with no uh, crit rate at all to make sure she survives and also provides the shield so that your Tever can survive um, longer. And yeah, I'll show you like the 17 turns run. I think I got it right here. Yep, right here. This is the this is on manual by the way. Um, I'll show you the sets on this one as well. Did this team just to get like uh, the group ranking to rank one. But yeah, with Haley plus like Astro set, it kind of goes crazy. I think I have Haley on Calamity set this time around and my Tever instead of running the relief set he's running uh, Astro set so boom there we go cleared the first two waves relatively uh, fast and look at how fast I can clear, kill the the boss wave so I land the defense break AP push Tever use the S1 and then Alice use the S1 assist with Tever AP push Tever boom S1 again Alice procs the relief, boom, <laughs> look at that, <laughs> that's crazy, 17 turns on Andras, but again this is manual, if I were to get like a, a lower turn count, I would need like a raven or something, so I can clear the first two waves faster, and yeah for the 17 turns run, this is the runes, um, my tower is again on attack, attack and attack, but this time around he's a lot, he has a lot more speed and a lot more attack. Because uh, my Astro set is better than my Relief set. And then Alice is on Relief set. And Avatara. You want to be spamming Tevers S1 when you enter the boss phase. So that you can proc a Relief set on Alice. And then she could proc Assist on Tever. And then my Haley is on Calamity set. Avatara as well. Fabrice is on Harmony set. His set doesn't really matter. And Aegis. And then lastly, Abigail again on Harmony set and Light set. So yeah, that's the team. Once again, my, my best run, my best 10 runs I got was with a 28 turns average, which is kind of crazy. Yeah, that's about it. Ciao.